Hello, hello, hello. My name's Falafel, and guess who's back in the house? It's me. Hopefully you too, because of quarantine and you should be inside. So during this downtime, let's make some headgear for maximum protection. We're making Captain Falcon's iconic helmet, so show, show me your moves. moves. Let's get into it. All right, so this is the epitome of Falafel bullshit yes! pattern. I drafted this pattern from scratch, beginning here by tracing my head. Um, uh, I also took the following measurements that I'll show onto this terrible looking styrofoam head. I've done some damage to this thing. But you want to measure the point in between your eyebrows to the nape of your neck, top center of my head to about an inch above my ear, that same point from an inch above the ear to the jawline. So here's an explanation of how I made the pattern. So that rough tracing that I did of my head, I took and I shaped it up so that it's the top of the side helmet pattern piece. And from the midpoint of this line, I'm calling this line A and B. The midpoint I'm calling C. And take the measurement that is one inch from the top of your ear to the jawline and trace that line. And this is gonna be called CD. Draw a line perpendicular to CD intersecting points B and extending past point A. Um, and then I freehanded how I wanted the front of the helmet to look based off of Captain Falcon's design. And this is what the side piece looks like. I did make about a one and a half inch dart from the top so it forms a more natural curve. So I also extended line AB about an inch on the bottom. Don't ask me why I did uh, an inch and a half because honestly, I have no clue. I just felt like it was the right size. Uh, later, you'll see that I was slightly wrong. So again, we're free handing, we're working along. After drafting the side helmet piece, I used the top of the edge to trace what will be the bottom of the helmet pattern piece. And then using the one inch above the ear to the center of the head measurement for the point C, I drew a line of that length of that measurement at a 90 degree angle, marking that point E, so that this is line CE. Lots of letters. I drew a curve parallel to the line AB, and this line will be called GH. So line GH is going to be the center line for the entire helmet. So in theory, it should be the length of your measurement from the point in between my eyebrows all the way to the back of my neck, the nape of my neck. And so I had to extend mine about two inches because it wasn't, are we surprised? No. Then I connected the points AG and points B and H. And this is the completed top helmet pattern. These two pieces will only make one half of the helmet, so you have to cut two mirrored. We go on to the foam crafting after cutting out the paper patterns and taping them together to see if they work. I traced them onto EVA foam from Cosplay Supplies, thank you so much. And then cut them out with an X-Acto blade. I used contact cement to glue the darts on the side pieces together, and then glued the sides to the top, then the two tops together, and boom, you have a base helmet. Captain Falcon has this raised piece on the top of the helmet, so using my top helmet pattern piece, ooh, that was a mouthful, I made it an inch thinner. I also wanted to save on foam, so I cut it into three smaller pieces on each side uh, so that I was saving room while transferring the pattern onto um, a small square of foam. <laughs> Captain Falcon's helmet has these detailed trims on the front face of the helmet. I make my trims by first sharpening the hell out of my X-Acto blade, cutting into the foam at a 45 degree angle like you'll see here. I use a metal ruler to help keep a straight line while doing so. Then flip it over, and about a quarter inch from the edge where I made the first cut, I make another 45 degree angle cut. And then using hot glue, I just attach the trims to the helmet, you know? Just brush the glue away. Don't do it while it's still hot though, it hurts. To really round out the top of the helmet, I heated the inside with a heat gun, and then used a round object to bend and mold the warm foam into. In this case, it was my knee. I do not recommend doing this unless it's cooled significantly. Now, remember that dart I said was wrong? Yes! Uh, the side looked like uh, the top of an egg rather than the sphere, so I cut a smaller dart from the bottom of the helmet towards the end point of the first dart, and this helped to really smooth out that harsh curve. For the wonderful burb sculpted betwixt Captain Falcon's brow, I drafted half the pattern onto a folded piece of paper, then cut it out while it was folded so that it was a full burb, and then transferred and cut said burb onto foam. 
I carved the lines and details using the same method as making trims, except that 45 degree angle that you did to do the trim outwards, you're going to cut that inwards and only about halfway through the foam so that you're not cutting directly, slicing the foam in half. Then using Warbler, provided also by Cosplay Supplies, I cut out a piece, heated it and molded it to the foam and all of the details. And while it was cooling, I held the falcon to a slight curve with my hands so that when the Warbler became solid again, it held that shape. And now you got a falcon on your forehead. Come on! I also have these plastic ornaments that I had lying around, so I took half of it, heated Warbler, and then shaped it on the ornament to make Captain Falcon side ear pieces. Falcon punch! To prepare for paint, I used a Dremel to sand down the seams, and then filled the seams with quick seal mixed with the tiniest bit of water so that the seams were super smooth. Then, with fine sandpaper, I buffed out the quick seal edges. Heated the entire helmet with a heat gun to seal the foam and then hit it with about four coats of Plasti Dip so that it was really super smooth. Now for my favorite paints ever. Big thanks to Plaid Paints for sending me a whole set of acrylics from several of their collections. I'm using their Apple Barrel Matte Flag Red for the base of the helmet and then Folk Art Brushed Metal Paint in Gold for the accent pieces, as well as a set of their flat brushes that I'll be using. I used about five coats of the flag red color and then using masking tape, I taped around the trims as to not get gold paint everywhere. And then painted the trims, ears, and the falcon with about three coats of the gold. Now this is super cool. Using Folk Arts Color Shift Red Flask Paint, I painted two sheer coats over the flag red and it has this awesome holographic iridescent effect so that it shines different when you look at it from a different lighting. Then using fabric markers as I usually do, I drew on some shadows and blended it out with my finger. Now I bet you thought, oh my gosh, we're done. Nope, psych, not, not really. The helmet is cool in itself, but I really wanted to add some flair with mini LED tutorial. Here it is. So using the LED foam from Cosplay Supplies, I cut out a rectangular chunk, roughly the shape of where my eyes would be in the helmet, then traced out two triangles for the eyes a la Captain Falcon style, and painted about four layers of Apple Barrel's black paint surrounding the triangles. And this way the light will only shine through the triangle eyes. I made a simple single LED light. Uh, you attach the positive end of the LED to, uh, I used a 330 resistor, then attach the end of the resistor to the positive end of this coin battery on off switch and then the negative end of the LED to the negative wire of the switch. If you want a more in-depth tutorial working with small LEDs, please watch my Calamity Ganon series. The headpiece tutorial and the simple LED tutorial will kind of walk you through those little bits. So then using duct tape, I tape the LED and switch onto the inside of the helmet behind the LED foam so when it's on it glows through the eyes. And lastly, I sealed the full paint job with Mod Podge, also from Plaid. And that's it. And now you can falcon punch your way through anything. Falcon so punch! thank you so much for watching. You can follow me on my socials. at Falafel Cosplays on Facebook and Instagram. Falafel Cosplay without the S on Twitter. I'm working on it. I'm also on TikTok and Discord and Twitch soon. Uh, Falafel Cosplays everywhere. There's a lot going on. Big thanks to Cosplay Supplies for the foam and warbler provided in this tutorial and a big thanks to plaid supplies for the paint mod podge and the brushes everybody please stay safe and please stay indoors um wishing you all the best wishing you best health we're, we're gonna make it through as best as we can here's a big shout out to all of our essential workers who are just busting their ass during this time and i hope that everybody stays safe and okay all right until next time goodbye